Dead by Daylight is expanding, just like your mom when your dad puts his big... I mean, in this video, I will talk about the future of Dead by Daylight, which is just as bright as Johnny Sin's underpants when he has them on. Anyway, if you like what you see, then don't be a bitch, subscribe, thank you. At this point, Dead by Daylight is one of the biggest horror games in the world. It is known for having a vast collection of characters from different movies, and video games, just like I mentioned in my previous video, and I will say this again, Dead by Daylight has no competition. And I know that games like VHS could compete with Dead by Daylight, but at the moment DVD has no competition whatsoever. That makes the player base of Dead by Daylight grow rapidly, so everybody who says Dead by Daylight is a dead game is just an idiot. We all wonder, what's next for Dead by Daylight? That's exactly why I love games like this, because you will never know who is the next killer, who is the next survivor, will it be the licensed chapter or no, will we get the new map? Loyal Dead by Daylight players are always looking to the future and we like to speculate. And talking about the future of Dead by Daylight, I have some good news for you. So recently DBD game director Matthew Cote gave an interview to two Dead by Daylight content creators. The King and Polly Esther. The interview is around 55 minutes long and there's a bunch of useless information, but some interesting things have been mentioned during that interview and I would like to talk about them. So first of all, will we get a new game mode or a new objective to win the game? And the answer is no, at least not anytime soon. Instead, Dead by Daylight developers are focused on bringing new mechanics to the game, such as boon totems. Things like boon totems, they change the meta of the game, they change some of the gameplay styles, but they don't change the objective of the game. And Dead by Daylight developers do not want to change the objective of the game, they do not want to split the community if that's a thing. So for those people who want to see a new objective added or a new game mode, dream on, Dead by Daylight will not have that anytime soon. Actually, I'm one of those people who would like to see a new objective added, <laughs> but anyway, let's move on. The most interesting part of this interview was when Matthew Cote was asked what is his dream related to Dead by Daylight, what would he like to see in the future for Dead by Daylight, and he said that he would like to see original Dead by Daylight characters in other video games. Imagine how cool would that be, imagine you open the new Resident Evil game and you play against the nurse or the huntress. That's fucking awesome, or in Smash Bros, the Trapper, just like he mentioned. And you know, it's a big possibility, because if he wants it, I think the whole company is ready to give some licenses to well-known video games. There also always have been a lot of requests to make a Netflix show about Dead by Daylight, and Matthew Cote has never said no, and it's a big possibility. In fact, one year ago or so, Dead by Daylight leak leaker uh, showed that there are some game files related to Netflix. Maybe it was related to Stranger Things, but I truly believe that we will see Dead by Daylight Netflix TV series based on Dead by Daylight with original characters. That would be fucking awesome. And with the passion for Dead by Daylight developers to add new licensed chapters such as uh, freaking Pinhead uh, and going on and on, I can see that this game will go for years and years. And nobody knows what will happen in the future, but I'm so optimistic. And I'm not telling you that Dead by Daylight will be my primary game in the future because I'm so excited for VHS to play that game. We all know that Dead by Daylight is a buggy game and I recently noticed a bunch of bugs in the game and it's a bit of a cash grab of a game but I'm truly excited for the future of this cash grab. <laughs> anyway, if you liked what you seen... I'm sorry for my bad English. If you liked this video, subscribe and like it. And see you later.